What is the crack, ladies and gentlemen? It's Gibble Era here with another episode of World of Warcraft Grounded to Private to me Blizzard. How y'all doing? How are you all doing? What can so I do here we are in, where are we, in Lakeshire? So we're in Red Ridge Mountains. Give me a report which means General Marcus Stormwind. Light bless you. And I'm just grabbing the last of the... Be careful. And then we have to go back to this hole. Okay, cool. I'm grabbing the last of the quests that are available for me here to do while I'm here. There was one more I saw outside there. Can I read any of these? No. Okay. Let me see, let me see, let me see. There was nothing left over the yonder, but there... Yeah, there was one over here I just spotted. When I came out, so I, I haven't really done that since the last time we left off. I, I just I closed up shop and okay. See you so later. basically, I had a quick read over all the quests that we currently have at the moment. So we've got message to the stormwind, go to thing, go to Westfall, free lunches, head towards Darkshire, find a dude and give him a thing. Dry times, basically buy a bit of booze from Goldshire, Darkshire, Westfall, and Stormwind. Excellent. That's in the lake. I can come back for that. Red Ridge. Could do that. The price of shoes. We can do that. This we can also do. And then we can go back and finish that. So what we're going to do is we're going to make... Do all the travel questy stuff now. Get all of that knocked on the head. Get the flight paths. All of that. G carry on. All that jargon. And then... What will probably be best would be to... Is there a mailbox? There is. I like how that just popped in just as I said it. Um, what would probably be best then would be to finish off the Westfall quests that we can. And oh, we didn't sell that now, so that, that blows. Okay, next time I'll actually look at it and um, figure out if there's actually like a market for any of these things. And if not, then I'll just vendor them because we're just losing money then sticking them up on auction. But if we sold one or two of them, we'd be in the money. I reckon if I sold them for half the price of what I put them up for, I, we'd probably be doing alright. Let's roast some boar meat. Okay, so the plan is, is we will make our way to Darkshire right now. From Darkshire, we'll complete the one or two quests, get the booze. Hearthstone to... Oh, well, do I need to hearts? Oh, no. Fly to Stormwind. Do the Stormwindy stuff. Hearthstone to Goldshire. Oh, no. See, one way or the other, I'm going to end up running somewhere. So it'll probably be quicker to Hearthstone to Goldshire than run to Stormwind, do the Stormwind stuff, and then fly to Westfall. That's how we'll do it. Excellent. Okay. So we are looking for a guard. I, what was his name? Thomas? Free lunch. Parker. Okay, we are looking for guard Parker. Peter, where are you? Oh, yes, I remember these little fellas. Jerks. Jerks. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Okay, so there's gonna be a lot of walking in this episode, unfortunately. There's not gonna be too much kind of hoo ya, cha cha, hacking, slabbing, stabbing. Actually, did I check my. I always have to check my mic is on now because I'm so paranoid. <laughs> I wow, you manage It's an interesting statement in the bottom left-hand corner there in the chat log. Um, right, Darkshire, the road to Darkshire. This is Elwyn Forest. I think it forks up here in a second. Yeah, stone watch. Make sure. Yeah, I know. I think it fork. Yeah, yeah. This looks like it probably heads down. I want to stay on the path though because um, that's where the the dude should be patrolling. They see me patrolling. They hating. There's all the knolls which we would need to kill. Here's Guard Parker. Oh, yeah, it's this one. Okay, cool. That's easy enough to find. Need help? How are you, bud? Go with honor, friend. He wants us to buy flowers for some chick. That's really beta. <laughs> oh, man. That's it. Make some other guy buy flowers for your chick. That's good. Right, we're going to make our way down to Darkshire here, and I'm going to hit the num key, and I'm going to be lazy for a second. I actually don't have my hands on the keyboard. Oh, God. Right, so plans. Plans, plans, plans. We are going to go to Darkshire, get the booze, get the flight path. What else we need to do here? No. Then, hearts don't. I'll go away. Don't web me. If he webs me, I'll blow it up. Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Wow, the range. That's what I thought. 
So um, we're going to make our way to Goldshire. The heart's down to Goldshire. Walk to Stormwind. Buy the wine. Nice fine Merlot. Get booze and Goldshire as well. And there's a quest we have to hand in in Goldshire too. Then fly to Westfall. And then start our quests there. Because I think we've unlocked more of the quest chain with that Defius Brotherhood one. And then we'll come back to Red Ridge once we've completed those quests. We'll probably ding. And we can uh, work our way around from there. I love this quest area, by the way. I absolutely love uh, Duskwood. I was about to say Darkwood there. <laughs> I did have to check. That looks like there probably might be stuff up there. Yeah. But um, I love, if you look in the bushes, you'll see um, eyes occasionally in them. Hang on, I'm trying to see if I can uh, spot this effect. Maybe not here. Maybe that was added in as a... Oh, well, here, let's have a... Talk to me! What have you got, bud? A rare orb. Healing potions are all sold out. Oh, these are all level 20-ish. This isn't an area we really particularly want to be in, by the way, because as you can see, level 20. If needs be, I can evade and sprint. Or I can go sneaky. Make my way in that way. Where I'm looking to see if I can spot the eyes in the bushes. Anyway, one of the effects that they have is that eyes do actually spot, are, appear in the bushes, and like it looks like something's looking out at you. And it just it it's a it sets a good atmosphere for this game. Like it's it's cool. I really like this area. I think it's awesome. It's very well designed. Very well. Okay, pumpkins. I feel in the pumpkins. They look good, by the way. She's. Cursed. Ah, Stalvin. Yes. I remember this. Okay. We are nearly there. Don't think it's much further. I'm not going to use Sprint to get there quicker. I'm hanging on to it in case a mob aggro's onto us. And then we're going to use it as our get out of jail free card. For at least the first one anyway. Second one then we can evade and just hope that we lose the aggro on it. The only thing is, is uh, this area... Welcome to Darkshire, by the way. This area tends to be quite... PvP. Like, oh uh, yeah, my PvP is now on because I'm on the Alliance, so... This is a spot where you're likely to get ganked a lot. This this town tends to get raided a lot. Because the, uh, the guards are only, like, level 30, so it's easy enough for a player to come in and wreck the place, but... Um, now, what we want is the innkeeper. Which will be in here. I love these signs. That's so good. Right, what we want is the innkeeper. Because the innkeeper or the bartender, the bartender, will have the booze. It's very important that these people get their booze fix. There we go. Bottle of moonshine. Nailed it. If I was smart and and if you like had prior uh, a priori knowledge of this quest, you could... The swords they carry look awesome. Um, you could have all of this already and then by the time you get there you could have the quest done and just hand it in which is a pretty good idea for future reference now we want to head up to the right here i am going to pop sprint now because now it actually be makes you. sense for me no. to use it king's honor friend what can I, do for you? I like how they all have names and stuff like that here as well it does add a nice personal touch okay so we get the flight path now need help awesome and now i will hearthstone to goldshire Goldshire. Or would I be better off? No. Oh, ho, ho, ho. fly to Westfall. Because we're nearly there anyway. Do the quests there. Buy the thing we need from Westfall. Which I believe is the Thunderbrew Lager. There you go. Thunderbrew Lager from Grim Brews. Grim Booze Thunder Brew. And I believe he's up in the hills where we have to go do a quest anyway. So it makes sense for us actually to do it in this order instead. Then I'll Hearthstone to Goldshire. And then run to Stormwind, fly to Red Ridge. Nailed it. My abs are in so much pain. <laughs> oh, God. I think it's more to do with the fact I had a massive dinner. So I'm unsure. 
Okay, so in terms of other things that we need to get done on the character, our professions, I'd like to get this up to 150 as soon as possible. Um, not only from a kind of I want it done point of view, but um, I want to be able to make myself some gear as well. Because um, a lot of our gear is pretty crappy. Hmm. Yeah, we need to do something about that. <laughs> we have some agility. Not a lot. We've got this, which is wonderful. It gives me all the armor in the world and all of the lovely bonus effects of nothing. <laughs> Why is that even a thing? We need some shoulders. That's what we need. That's one thing about this game. It always took so long to get a decent set of shoulders. And the shoulders look so good when you finally do get them. They just round the character off so well. Okay. Now I think Grim Booze is up. Grim Booze is up there. Gina McGregor. McGregor. There's a dude. The MMA chap. What a nutball. <laughs> I wouldn't say that to his face. <laughs> Oh man. I'm not big into the whole MMA thing and all that type of junk. You know, I respect the level of fitness that those lads get themselves into and all that type of crack. And like, I, I can see that there's an element of sport to it in terms of the discipline that it takes to actually learn to do all the stuff that they're doing. But at the end of the day, I am a lower, not a fighter. I don't like to see people beating up on each other. I think it's crappy. That looks like something that might be fun to explore. Cute, right, so these mobs are, um, they are bigger than me. Has me worrying. We want to head this way, I believe. And then I think there actually is a road quest over there. I forget what it gives us. But at the end of it, I think we get, um, oh, what's it called? Swift Thistle Tea, I think. Or, like, we get a, like, a drink or something that we can use to, um, make our rogues energy come back. I think it's Red Cow or something like that, or... Blue cow. I, I don't know. Like it's something like it's like Red Bull, but it's not. It is a joke. I think they don't spin off. I don't know. It's the Swift Thistle Tea, and I think then later on in a different expansion, they may have. Yeah. Okay. Right. So we actually do want to kill these. So I'm just gonna get up to this guy and we'll pickpocket him because I just I'm intrigued to see what type of gear we're gonna be getting, and then I'll just grab him. Oh, or not. And we'll try that again. Lovely. So then we'll just get away from him. I'm out of range. Because I want to pull him away from these. Not enough. Okay, now that went all right. Now I'm gonna save my energy. I need to get closer. I was absolutely afraid. Right, I think I can just pull him now, and we'll just get away a bit from the other high from here. Okay, now that'll do. Whatever, that's fine. I'm gonna pop my evasion now. Because, um, I didn't really let our guy heal up there in between. Not so, it makes sense in my mind just to kind of get him topped off. I'll drop an eviscerate on him now. Excellent. We're going to wait two seconds. Just get a bit of health back. No panic. No rush. I'll eat one of these boar meats and then I'll destroy them because they were a waste of space. Flee to West Vonda. Oh, yeah, bugger. I could have done that. Oh, bugger, I got a... There was a quest in Sentinel Hill I should have grabbed. But it's okay, we'll get it on the way back. I don't think it will apply to this area here. Okay, so we'll go... We'll pickpocket this guy, get the extra silver out of him. And then... Oh, yeah, nice. We'll grab him, get the bleed on. Pop our slice and dice. Get 11 seconds of that, 12 seconds of it. 12 seconds. I don't have and... I think we'd actually do more damage. No, we would do more damage with our Sinister Strike there. Cool, right, excellent. That's another one down. We're going to start making our way back up. Yeah. Oh, bugger. This is a tricksy one. This is... The Highwaymen are obviously the ones we need the most of. This human priest is playing a risky game here. Hopefully he doesn't aggro everything. I'm not going to interject because I would be afraid I would aggro absolutely everything as a result. So I'm going to squeeze my way up here. Now, is my PvP turned off, or is this a PvP area as well? See, normally it would come up that you would have X amount of time under PvP. I think it would be 10 minutes once you were in a friendly area. 
Unless this doesn't count as a ah, bugger, right? Okay. Hop slice and dice. Get our 12 seconds. A little bit of lag. There's a wee bit of lag. You're not gonna lie. Making it scary. Level 17. Oh jeez, I didn't realize his level actually. I'm only actually looking at that now. I'm not concerned about conserving my eviscerate for when he's running so he doesn't aggro. I I, I think I just need to blow him up like right now. I'm out of range. That'll do it. Okay, bit of wool cloth. Excellent. I don't see any knuckle dusters yet. I'm just gonna run along here. Oh, these are the knuckle dusters are here. Okay, oh that's fine. I'm gonna run along until I find Thunderbrew. Once I find Thunderbrew, I will uh, make friends with him. Okay, now my PvP is now off, so um, it must have had a timer on it. Maybe I can't see it because the recording overlays are actually over it a wee bit there. Now, Thunderbrew, that may be his camp there. Yeah, that looks like a dwarfy kind of thing. I'm after buying Warhammer Total War, by the way, the fantasy one, for anyone that is interested in Warhammer, and I'm looking forward to getting a few games of that going. Now, that's going to be a good crack. Now, I think I have a lot of hops already. This guy wants hops. Off with you. I may well have that. I think I do. I do. And we get it. And we're done. Excellent. Do I have any more? Hops. No, I only have one. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> that was a quick one. GG. Um, if I head this way, I'll, I'll get the rest of the map. And I think there's more of the deafiest guys spawn down here. If not, I'll come back up. Yeah, there's a tent down there. That means they spawn down here. That's okay. Lots of people up here, though, doing the quests. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Latency is still pretty bad. Um, it, It's up and down at the moment. They're in the process of fixing things Um, as we go along. Uh, again, free game. So... Take it for what it is. Siberian servers. It is a free game, so take it for what it is. Remember that you're not actually paying for this. He's level 18. I didn't think this true. He is going to smash me up right. Uh, pop slice and dice. I don't think we can... Yeah, no. If I can get away from... I didn't realize he was 18. I need to be a bit more conscious of that. When I'm dealing with these chaps. Did I get the map explorer? I'll come back. Ooh. Now we're pretty boned. Because I've got no health and I'm in combat again. If I can just keep the range, maybe this hunter will... Good man. Good guy, hunter. Cheers. Good one. Okay. Right. So, need to be a bit more conscious of what's happening around us. Oh, 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 oh. Let's just stop running around for a second. Let's just chill. In the corner here, and go invisible, and just have a moment. Did I not click? I did. That That's, you saw how long I sat down there for, and nothing happened. So, keep that in mind. There's a lot of lag at the moment. It is making it hard to kind of be efficient with your use of your moves and your mana and all that carry on. It's just adding to the, the stress of the process. And leveling as a, as a rogue is quite stressful as it is. I, I must admit that. It's tricky. It's super tricky. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna come back this way because these seemed a bit easier to deal with than um, the ones on the other side there, which seemed to be a much higher level. And the knuckle dusters were around here. Here we are. Here's one. And he's he's only level 16. We can we can definitely tango with this fella. Absolutely. Oh, no, not anymore now. Now we're going to aggro him as the other one spawns. Oh, well, that's just swell. And we'll jump and now run. If I get dazed, I'm pretty knackered. I'm going to try and run side on. So I, I I, don't know why. Actually, just in my mind, it makes sense. But I can see him then, can't I? Can't see where I'm going, though. Okay, grand. Right. Well, that was unfortunate. It's making life hard. Again, the troubles of leveling one of these types of characters is you have to deal with the 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 screwery that is being uh, a melee ranged character, and we are a pretty squishy one as well. 
And we're not really geared that well either, so we may have to reconsider doing this quest right now and coming back to it at a later stage. Again, the mobs seem a lower level here, so we might get away with it, but it's definitely tricky. It's definitely tricky. And we pickpocket them. And we grab Okay. So, like, once you can get your full combo off, it's not that bad. Like, you can pretty much blow most stuff up fairly easy. But if you can't get that combo off, you're you're missing a big chunk of your damage, and you definitely notice. Lovely. Howdy. Okay, I don't want to pull a load of them, but I. Jesus. <laughs> this guy, the enthusiasm. How? That ability, yeah. that ability isn't ready yet. I think one of them is a level 20. Oh, yeah. Nice. I don't have enough. Okay. Alright, well, that's grand. As long as they're in the background there, I have a bit of backup that I can pretty much count on at any stage. Not ready oh, well, I guess we'll loot it. We might get like a quest item or something like that. This will help us storm through this a bit quicker. It, it just means we're just going to be that much more efficient at um, clearing house. Which definitely stands to us. And that's the nice thing about when you get somebody like this that just gives you a bit of a hand with a quest. Having level 20 with us obviously will make a big difference. Here's a bit of loot. Yeah, whatever. Okay, we're going to make our way over this way. I, with a uh, level 20, we can't exactly pull the whole area. Um, like they, it would probably still wreck us if we were to absolutely aggro the whole world and all their friends here. But especially with a clothy, but like the clothy can just heal herself up there, so it's not really going to be too much of an issue. Okay, knuckle dusters. Bum 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 bum. There's one. Pat Stalker. I love that little Chris there that he has. It's a Chris, is it? A K-R-I-S? Not really. I don't know a lot about knives, so... But I believe that would be called a Chris. A K-R-I-S. Yeah, here's a Pat Stalker. I'll we'll just run straight into him. Do a quick little check to make sure that they were behind me and that I have backup. Excellent. No worries, there we go. Now we're, we're storming through this crest now with a bit of help. And then again, come back to community spirit and all that crack. That's This is the nice thing about playing on and on Kronos. You tend to get this a lot. I've been declining a lot of groups lately because typically by the time I get invited to a group, I, I tend to have the quest finished. But... I'm sorry, I'm looking around for mobs. But, um... On the Shaman, and previously on this character, I've gotten a lot of groups for various different quests. Now, I saw one over there, so I'll just ping them to let them know that's where I'm heading. So, just in case I do start getting messed up. And I'll just walk it over to him. Cool. Pat Stalkers seem to be the, the tough nuts to crack. So, it's nice getting a bit of help with them, considering that some of these are like level 17 and 18 and stuff like that. Like, this would be a, a long, grindy quest for us if we weren't getting this bit of, hand, a bit of a hand. It's nice to have a bit of a boost every now and again. Somebody else has done the hard work, and now you're just uh, <laughs> reaping the rewards. I'm going to push on a wee bit there just to see. No, there's none down here. I'm start making my way back. I need six, two, and two. Oh, here we are. I'm out of ready. Yeah. Oh, oh, not ready yet. Oh, ready yet. Yeah. They don't appear to see the situation, so oh. I'm just gonna bring these mobs over that way. Not enough energy. Not enough energy. Yeah. And just let them know what's hip happening. I should be able to get oh well I gotta renew, so it's it's I'm alright now. Thank you, Swifty Pinky. You're a gent in a squatter. Yeah. We run over and it's too far away. Swifty Pinky has the situation locked down. <laughs> I can't do that yet. Yeah. 
All I these dwarves coming over here, taking our mobs. We need to build a wall and hold all the dwarves out. We'll get the dwarves to build it. Trump style. Here we go. Okay, four more. And I can vendor this junk. Right, so we need one and one and four. So we haven't really got much left to do. We, we've actually stormed through this quest in the space of a couple of minutes. It's, it's pretty good. We're not getting as much experience for actually killing the mobs because we're in a group. I think it gets divided amongst us or you get like a reduced rate or something like that. But, and the fact that a higher level is killing it as well. Oh, thanks for the buff, bro. But, um, the fact that I'm getting through the quest fairly fast... Definitely is advantageous. Now, do these spawn down here, I wonder? These guys may be done. Now I'm unsure. This feels like they're done. I've been... Yeah, they're done. Cool. Oh, I see it there now. Cheers. Bum, 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 bum. I think some of these mobs actually spawn over in Moon Thing. What do you call it? Moon Thing. <laughs> Moonbrook. No, these are looters. Alright, no bugger. We need to all back up. So we're going to run back up. I think I can get up this way. And then when I get up here, we'll... Um, we just need to snipe one or two more of the hard ones. And then the, the high women are typically like level 14, 15 anyway. So we, we can manage that. That's no bother. We, we got the guts of the quest done there fairly fast. It's definitely sped things up for us. Definitely sped things up for us. Right. Hoo -hoo. Now I pushed it. And then when I pushed it again because I think it didn't work because of the lag, I came out of it. That's annoying. Little things like that. They do detract away from the experience of the gameplay while playing on this server. And again, it's because the latency is too nice. Yeah, and it's it's not my internet. <laughs> it is the server, unfortunately. I'm out of range. Ah well, not to do for it, but power through it. Now, if we're lucky, we may be able to snipe like a low-level. Who's this? We may be able to snipe a low-level like path with a path stock or a knuckle duster somewhere along here, which would be great. Which would be absolutely great, but yeah. We'll see how we pan out. Okay. Is that a... No, that's a knuckle duster, yeah. They do spawn here, which is nice. Nice once you realize that you don't pull like five or six of them. Okay, so this ended up turning into a grindy episode as well. But not as grindy because we had help, which is good. Which is good. Yeah. I'm not really one to get boosted, like, I, I wouldn't really, I like the leveling process, but sometimes when you're not really feeling like doing a bit of a grind, sometimes it's nice to be dragged through a quest. I won't lie about that. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Now, if there was a few of them spawning down here, that'd be great. Straight into the stealth there. High woman, yeah, level 17. None here. They're all dead, because th there's a pile of them there. Um, hmm. I see this, and I feel like I should explore it. I think I have to. <laughs> Okay, let's just run around this, bud. I think there's a ghost or something over here, is there not? Or I think the quest in the retail version of WoW for the treasure chest ends up bringing you over here? That should reveal the rest of the map. No, we're still missing a bit. Over there by Moonbrook. But I think it will bring you over here and then there's a ghost of Captain Sanders. Oh, there's the there's Captain Grayson, ethereal-looking fella that he is, keeper of the flame. Five flasks of oil, which we've destroyed so many. The coastal menace. Bring a scale of all murky. 
and the coast isn't clear. Right, so we need to kill lots of murlocs. I've seen people advertising for this quest a couple of times. I knew we were definitely missing some quests. Um, if I have a look at them real quick, they ain't going to be easy either. No. <laughs> um, right, we'll have to reconsider doing that for the time being. I'll make my way back up to the uh, area we just were. That's the... Oh, is that like the exit? The back exit of um, Dead Mines? I think it's like a quick way of getting out. Just at the back, once you finish the instance, if I'm not mistaken. Or is it a quick entrance in? I forget. I forget, so I do. Now, I'm, I'm just looking for a way up this hill, by the way. If anybody's wondering why I'm running down here. I think I can get up this way. I think. I think I do, but I don't. Right. Lovely. Okay, let's see if we can spot these and get this quest done before the end of this video. We need a total of five mobs. This person looks like they're in trouble. Although, this bud looks like he's wrecking stuff up at the moment. Okay, but then I pulled all of them. They're doing okay. They don't need me. That highwayman is level 13. So, um, it would be nice to I'll throw this at him. And I'll just pull him for me. There we go. Nice. Nice, easy one to deal with. Take them where they're going. See, we can delete things about the same level as us pretty handily, but once you go up a level or two, it's, there just seems to be a difference there between us that um, I'm not able to close that gap yet because of my inadequate equipment. Lovely. Now, here we go. That's a knuckle duster off in the distance by himself, which is wonderful for us. So what we'll do is, is we'll just we'll come around him here, pickpocket him, sidestep him. Ah, feck it. Right, well, anyway... Excellent. Oh, now he's in combat. Rough. Sorry, bud. Oh, well, we, we managed to get it, so that's okay. Alright. Slice and dice took a while to pop there. Yeah, that's only 25 energy. I had that. <laughs> it was a bit laggy. Okay, so we are five for Knuckle Dusters. We need two more Highwaymen and one more Path Stalker. Right, where are we going to find you, bud? They're after heading off that way, so I'm going to head this way and see if I can just get a couple of mobs to myself. Don't resist. Oh, what? No. Excellent. Oh, the lag has kind of dropped off a bit. No, it's back again. <laughs> With a vengeance. With a vengeance. Excellent. So I don't know when you guys are going to see this, though. This is recorded now on, is it Monday? No, the day is Sunday, so this is recorded on Sunday. And the episodes that you're going to be seeing would have would have been over the next day or two. I recorded yesterday, and I recorded a few of them, and I'm planning on recording a few more today. I'm gonna to, again, I'm gonna try and build up a bank of episodes that I can work my way through when I go back to work, um, and I'll still be recording on top of that, but obviously at a less rate since I don't have the time off to put into this. Okay, two more mobs, two more mobs, and then I'm gonna cut the episode. The Brotherhood will not tolerate your actions. I will jog on over. <laughs> right. Nice. No sign of nothing up here. Because everybody and their uncle is up here farming mobs. So, um, one path stalker, which we found a load of them up here last time. And one highwayman, which there was a load of them here. So we may get lucky as we're leaving and we'll just nab one. Oh, God. This is, um, this is going to be tricky. And I think we're going to have to, like, oh, 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 knuckle duster? No, it used to be. Path stalkers were the ones with the Chris daggers, weren't they? Yes. Okay, they they were spawning over here, so. There's one. But I, I don't think I can. No. No bother for this chippy chappy, though. Oh, well, if he's going to invite me in, screw it. Cheers and thank you. So it's only for one. I still don't get the Oh, I did get the credit. No, that's okay. Oh, that's excellent. That makes life a bit easier. Thank you, Kronos community. <laughs> what have we got? All oh, level 18. Jesus, and a, another one. Christ. So many. So many. So we're going to go look for a highwayman, and then if I can find a highwayman, that's me done. Here's one. No, that's a path stalker. Got it. Not ready. Oh, 
Aim just finished. Cheers. It's too far away. And we'll make our way and make room for somebody else to partake. Oh. I oh, reckon we're sprinting. That that nearly got interesting there. If that hunter wasn't there, we'd be pretty much screwed. Okay, it worked out well. Excellent, right, so we have that quest done now. We have our thing. Thing. Thunderbrew egg or keg. So I'm gonna make my way back to Sentinel Hill and hand in that other quest that I forgot to hand in. So this has been Giveaway Area, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching these videos. If you have enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like down below and possibly consider subscribing to the channel as well. If you don't want it, it's all G. It doesn't matter. It would help me out a lot, though. Uh, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about what you've seen in this video or any of my other videos in general, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Take her handy. Bye-bye!